Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the Swolfton Estate! Chair waggling and everything included. So, what are we gonna do today? Well, last time we uh, did part two of the burn. We are gonna have so many more to do. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna need a couple more invitations just to be safe. And, um, why not do some low level missions? We got a lot of low level people. I'd like to get them up to level three. Which means that we can then have access to more level 3s. Uh, they're getting expensive, I might also add. And we need to get to a point where we just don't care. Now, the, another thing that we need to do is get portraits. I've been told in several comments now that we want to get a bank as fast as possible. Uh, portraits are necessary for the bank. The other thing that we desperately need are busts. We need busts to get the vintners. The people that make more and more blood for free every week. Considering that our... Um, cursed uh folk now number at least four five now actually including vitalis that's going to become a problem uh, and i would like to solve that problem by having enough blood to not care hopefully that makes sense anyway let's go ahead and uh, trinket out our folks here we got monfique our very first uh well not our very first shield breaker but definitely a shield breaker of some kind as i've come to understand shield breakers are just high damage uh, characters that tend not to take a lot of damage in return if they're playing correctly. So what we want to do is make sure that we're dealing as much damage as is physically possible. Um, actually, hold on. Before we do anything. Yes, return all triggers from heroes. Sort by rarity. There we go. That's a little bit better. That's, that's all my stuff. Uh, we want to make sure that we're doing as much damage as possible. So Dismas is head. Boom. Now, we don't want to slow down speed at all. Uh, that, that seems like a bad plan. So what we're going to do instead is look for another damage charm anybody anybody nobody yeah, problem that uh all right fine then no damage charm see if i care let's make you dodgy and speedy then feather crystal it is now this means that you're going to be a little more stressed out than usual but hopefully you'll be okay we're gonna go ahead and try something new here let's go ahead and bring along macy the mace vestal uh she now has a bunch of extra healing a little bit less uh, speed, which is fine, but then a bunch of stun and debuff st skill chances. Considering what she's got access to, which includes Mace Bash, hopefully useful. Divine Comfort will now heal. Uh, debuffing by, you know, reducing damage or by reducing their dodge. Like, we've got options. And these are options that I kind of want to try playing with. Uh, largely because they seem interesting. You know what I'm saying? We could even sit in our rank 3 if you want to try that in the middle of the mission, switch over to Dazzling Light here. And then that way we can, instead of having Mace Bash, have uh, access to a character that can stun all over the place. Now, with that in mind, the reason why we're going in melee here is because I kind of want to see what Macy can do up close when she's got plus 20% damage to her melee skills and they have a better chance to crit. I, I just, I want to try these out, that's all. Now... Uh, we've got ourselves a Plague Doctor, and Plague Doctors are always pretty sweet, so let's go ahead and do the usual thing that we do with the Plague Doctor, because the doodly do with the Plague Doctor equals yay good times. Uh, specifically speaking, in this case, we can Noxious Blast, we can Bleed him, we can Stun him, and we can do that all very, very easily. And with increased damage, which is also pretty sweet. Finally, we've got Verbs. Verbs, I, I fucking hate you. I really don't like you. I, I don't understand why you are a thing. Now, with that said, uh, plus 30% Bleed skill chance. Uh, what about the Bloody Charm? Plus 20%, plus 20% bleed resist, but it reduces your dodge. Okay, I see why that might be a problem. Uh, I would like to, I don't know, just a thought, maybe give you something that allows you to like, oh, I don't know, like just not suck. Uh, we could go for a caution cloak. It's not an awful idea. Uh, I could go for a couple of different ideas though, and that would be uh, one that I would definitely take. What are, what are these things down here? That's for gray robbers? That's for arbalists only? Okay, see if I give it. Flying Hoot Nanny. Now, um, what do I actually want then? We could just reduce the stress he takes by like a million. Seems reasonable, honestly. Um, you know what? Screw it. Have your stupid dice. See if I care. More, more bleed, more bleed to you. Uh, are you gonna actually be bleeding anybody? The answer is no. So why am I doing this again? Take it back. I don't, I don't want it anymore. Please don't give him the bloody dice. That seems like a terrible idea. What are all these tiny charms for? A little bit more HP, a little bit more this, a little bit more that, a little more action, please. Um, a little bit less conversation. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Aria box it is. Just don't get stressed out, bud. 
Verbs, I kind of hate you. If you die, I won't be too sad. Let's go. Let's see if we can make some money. Now, with that said, we are going into the wield. Uh, we got... Yeah, no, don't don't worry. We've got we've got the blood necessary. We've been very good about bringing blood back for our people that need the blood. I have absolutely no worries about that. Now, with that said, uh, we're going for a medium mission. So, that's not at all what I did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get 12 food. Get another 6 just to be safe. Because the last couple times that we've used medicinal herbs on a carcass, it hasn't done very much. Uh, once and uh, One and a quarter stack of torches. A key. Bandage two, a couple of anti venoms, a couple shovels. That was expensive. Hold on, don't you do a lot of stuff that involves uh, increasing your torchlight? Yeah, illumination. It's not awful. It's pretty bad though. Ranged, ranged, mace bash. Yeah, not sure how to feel about this. This is a weird situation, trying to go for a weird kind of lineup. But who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Either way, we got Macy the Mace Vestal, and hopefully it works. Mm. So, I've come to the conclusion that frozen yogurt and ice cream are exactly the same thing. Like, functionally speaking. Land is remote and unneighbored. There is absolutely nothing about them that makes them different enough for me to look at them and go, Hey! This one's healthier than the other one. We should be totally fine. No, every single one of them is just like, hey. It's full of, like, sweet, delicious, creamy stuff. That sounds gross, but hear me out. <laughs> Hold on, we actually are going to start like this. That sounds gross, but hear me out. They're surprised? We have to kill them. Um, what if we... Uh, did none of these things? Dear lord, fine, just... Use your battle ballad. Make us a little buffer. It doesn't matter. Um, if we pierce, we might kill one. We did. Nice. With and if we incise, we might kill the other one. Yeah, okay, good stuff. So frozen yogurt and ice cream are pretty much the exact same thing I've come to the conclusion. And the reason why is because my mom's been buying frozen yogurt for the better part of, oh, I don't know, forever now. She used to buy ice cream every once in a while just so that way she could have a dessert. And like, yeah, you know, dessert's pretty cool. Of course you want to have dessert once in a while. That makes sense. Uh, I would like to take the Shurgeon Satchel. Thank you. Finding the stuff is only the first test. But over time, I've come to realize that as much as I love frozen yogurt, because I do, um, it really is the exact same thing as ice cream. And I, I really don't hold any doubt in my mind about that. Yeah, absolutely, we're going to open this. Oh, yeah? It's a ton of money. Holy shit. We've actually done it. Um, since there are none of the curios we're looking for over on this side of the map, let's just go back the way we came and see how far we can make it in the rest of the dungeon before having to head back. Oh, excuse me. Oh, look. Time to use my shovel. Oops. There goes the. There goes that. Another curio. Like I care. Uh, I don't want crests, and I'll just pop the torch. I mean, I like the crests, but they're not that important, you know? We, we, we could definitely use them, but uh, there's some other things we need to get. So, in particular, what brought this along is that my mom's been buying this frozen yogurt that's like roasted pecans kind of style, right? That's pretty sweet. Does the trick. Ooh, nice hits. And uh, definitely get the spider. The spider's dead. That's fantastic. Now it's maggot time. Do we have somebody that can actually attack? Heck to the no! Heal some stress instead, buddy. Look at that. No problem. And buffed against it. Very nice. Grave Nibble? Uh, please heck off. Vampiric Spirits? Oh, dear. So debuff resist. And stunned. And everything else. Great. Okay, fantastic. Macy, do your thing, please. Holy shit! What the heck was that? She just... Uh, boom! With the bashy and the buh! I, I like the gold more than I want the torches, honestly. Take the gold, top, pop a torch, and keep going. Yes, I will toss six torches out the way. No, that's not an intelligent decision. Yes, I'll have a fun time doing it. I don't care. So she got this, like, roasted pecan caramel kind of, uh, frozen yogurt, right? And as I'm sitting here eating it right now, like, I've got a bowl of it right here. And admittedly, it's delicious. I'm not knocking that. It's really good. But, like... 
When you lick your lips afterwards, you're like, that is actually full of sugar. And there is no telling me otherwise. No, definitely. Ate food. I mean, that's pretty much why we brought it. So now we can have a massive feast when we go ahead and have a, have a bit of a camp. Nothing? Excuse me? What is this insanity? Oh, shit. Curious is the trap maker's art. Pump one of those off. That's six damage you just avoided. That's pretty good use of a blight thing as, as far as I'm concerned. Let's pop a torch. One torch is fine. I don't mind having slightly low light. But at the same time, I do mind having, like, absolutely pitch black darkness before we even get anywhere. You know, interesting. So I'm looking, like, the sugar off my lips. It is that sugared. Ice cream is literally the exact same thing. I am out of stuff. Uh, what happens if I use a torch? Nothing. Uh, what happens if I use an anti -venom? Nothing. What happens if I, uh, use a bandage? Nothing. I'm not going to use a shovel. I don't care, then. Off we go. Oh, it's a bunch of bugs, and it's very, very low light. They're surprised, though. This is good. In size, one of the maggots and kill it dead. It doesn't leave a corpse, so that's pretty sweet. It's not Macy's turn. I... This feels wrong. So, can't be guarded. Does 50% damage. Okay. I'd rather do... What the fuck does full damage on this character? Nothing? I mean, nice crit, but I thought the shield breaker was going to be, like, super damaging, and I was horribly wrong. Here, have some stress relief, buddy. Look at that. Down to 35 again. What a time, Mon VK. Mason. You know, 9 damage is not bad. Okay, grab those two gems. They're worth something, at least, right? And that's money. That's the other big thing that we're going for right now is El Mula o Grande. Uh, you know what? Let's go for one big fight. And if this ends up being a fight, we'll camp immediately afterwards. It's not a fight. Okay, how about we go down? Hopefully this turns out to be a fight. We still have a shovel, thank goodness. I want one big fight. One big fight where everything goes horribly wrong. There we go. Uh, rab everybody's gonna be rabid. It's gonna suck. Rabid rush. Alright, that's the wrong character for it as far as I'm concerned, and that sucks. Please don't. Oh god, they're all gonna be rabid first. Oh, that sucks. And she's res- oh god. Oh, she's bleeding? No, that's not a big deal. Um, I mean, it is a big deal, but, like, if he's bleeding now, then he can uh, go ahead and, uh, Battlefield Medicine, which is pretty sweet. Jesus Christ, they're all so fast! Alright, so can you Battlefield Medicine this early on in the fight? No, you cannot. Okay, you need to see if there's a way to move forward. There is with Puncture. Okay, great. With a good crit that actually does some work. Now, uh, pull them forward, which is nice. Um, let's definitely increase our speed for next round. That seems reasonable. A little bit of speed, a little bit of accuracy. A little more action, please. Um, and just mace him, I guess. <laughs> For 14? Bonus! Hold on. I cannot rename her in the middle of a fight. Just give me a minute. I would love to rename her regardless, because that is insane. Um, let's go ahead and get do another battle ballad. More speed, more accuracy. Let's go. Alright, you, now you can't battlefield medicine still. Okay, well you can still go out for a kill at this point. And no, not quite a kill, unfortunately. Rabbit rush, that sucks. Now you're making everybody bleed and everybody's getting rabid and I kind of hate it. Now I can pierce. Okay, well, let's get the kill. Now everybody's back in formation. Thank you for having puncture, by the way. That's a fantastic ability. Ay, uh, ay, 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 ay. With the bleeds. No, okay, good. Now we can go... We can do Macy. We can do the Hand of Light, which reduces damage and accuracy. Or we can do the Reduced Dodge. Uh, in this case, honestly, let's go Macy Face. Ooh, <laughs> holy crap. She's actually a DPS character. What is this insanity? Okay. Uh, definitely Pierce. On the off chance it gets a kill. Um, definitely speed everybody up. Because I don't see why not. And um, can you, like, Battlefield Medicine yourself or are you done? You're done. I mean, it took this long, but, like, okay, fine. Let's go. That kind of sucked, but also kind of didn't. All right. Well, let's camp. And uh, eat all the food. Ding, 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 ding. Look at all the stress fade away. Uh, you have a disease, yes? Do we have leeches? We do. That just saved us a couple of grand. Um, let's see. What do you got? Turn back time. One companion is minus 30 stress. If afflicted, minus 15. Okay. 
All companions, minus 15. And minus 15 stress for the next four battles. That's pretty sweet. Actually, I really quite like that. What have you got? Prey. Minus a bunch of stress. Chant. Minus a bunch of stress. Bless. Plus a bunch of accuracy. One companion. Interesting idea. What about you? Sandstorm? Snakeskin? Kind of like the idea of snakeskin, honestly. Um, how about we go ahead, toss a bless onto her. Give her a snakeskin. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Just, ooh, look at this uh, very neat sounding kind of like, ooh, loo, doo, doo. <laughs> I found that entertaining. And that should do, except for we still have the cure. We're now re resistant to disease. So that's pretty sweet. All right, and we're done. We're probably going to get ambushed, which is going to suck, but like we should be fine. Whoa, what the shit? Horrifying memory brought back into the spotlight by a tortured mind. What the heck? So, dun ding 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 ding. Shieldbringer, what the heck are you doing wrong? Warning rattle? Okay, that's something we can pierce through. Holy crap. Infuse? Uh oh. Why does that remind me of Venomancer in a big way? Okay, so here's the problem. Um. These guys all suck. How about we go ahead? What a weird, weird fight. I have no, I no idea that this kind of thing existed. Battlefield Medicine. That just saved us from I don't know how much damage. Okay, time to Macy their facey. Okay, that was five damage. That's not a lot, actually. Holy shit. Um, Sorienting Blast. Resisted. We got stunned, though. That's good. Um, I would like to pierce, puncture, impale. Reasonable impale. Very nice. Um, you reduce your stress because this is your dream and it sucks. Holy shit! I didn't even know fights like this could possibly exist. So he's stealth. We have no means of really getting rid of stealth, unfortunately. Uh, do you do damage? Yeah, yeah, I get the feeling you do. Uh, how about we reduce that damage by a decent amount? Warning rattle, okay, that's bad. Are they both guarding him now? They both have repulsed. Oh my god, that's disgusting. And he's invinci invisible. That's really awful. Confused. Good block! Shitty blight, though, for fucking three? Okay, we need to battlefield medicine that one as well. Um, does any of this... Breaks guard, bypasses guard, can't be used on certain... Can you use it on him? You can? That brought him out of his terrible place. Uh, speed everybody up, please. The blood now stab it to death. Yay, we killed the big snake. It's now dead. Fantastic. That was nice and easy. Ah! Why must they all suck? Thank you. Uh, time to Macy in the facey, I guess. Uh, ooh, we're gonna take another hit for that. It's gonna kind of suck. We could also just reduce his accuracy, his damage, kind of heal everybody up. I, yeah, ooh. How about we reduce his damage even further? Good hit for one. You piece of garbage. All right. So he doesn't do damage anymore, which is pretty sweet. Keep reducing her stress, please. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That stress is mounted so hard. Okay. Uh, impale. Then, Battlefield Medicine, to reduce the amount of damage she's taken. This is a f like a fake fight. Like, what the heck? Now, unfortunately, we have to deal with these corpses. I hadn't realized that we don't have a way of really dealing with corpses until now, but we don't really have a way of dealing with corpses until now. Holy shit, that's doing four damage per fucking thing. Oh, God. Of course. Your shitty dream sucks, dude. Okay. Uh, definitely Pierce. Um, definitely try to reduce the stress a little bit if you can. Really kind of lame though, isn't it? Okay, Battlefield Medicine. Absolutely, I'm gonna remove, like, a bajillion damage that seems reasonable. Macy, right in the facey. Good stuff. I'm a beautiful thing to say. 
Flawless as the sea of the dunes, graceful as the desert wind, captivating as the shimmering mirage. They stare, they linger, they watch me without blinking. Okay, Aegis Scales. I drop by snakes who come from the Shieldbreaker's homelands. These scales can be consumed by heroes to provide a single damage block of protection. The next hero that hits this hero, the next attack that hits this hero will do zero damage. Sweet. Very helpful. Nice crest, we already have something similar, it's largely useless. Interesting. Venomous Vials, a trinket we do not have. Well, I'm pretty sure that sucked. Let's open up this unlocked strong box, which is trapped. Of course it is. How much play did we just take? Six. Okay, that's bad. Alright, well, um, this mission just went really south really fast. Uh, one, two, three... And four. Now, uh, you've got a Feather Crystal, which isn't doing you much good. Do you have any Blade abilities that you should be using then? Instead, let's see. Moves you back one. Accuracy, 90. Fine. Crit Mod, okay. Hmm. It is a melee attack. We do have a means of exposing stealth. Okay. So wait, is this going to happen every single time that she sleeps? Because that's dumb. <laughs> okay, so Impale, let's replace that with uh, Adder's Kiss. Captivate, it's ranged. Damage minus 20, crit mod is up. It's 40% versus marked. We don't have any marked people, so uh, in this case this will have to do. Okay. Well, Monfique. Um, what an interesting thing you have become. Okay, well, no real problems. That's fine. Uh, let's head on back this way. So there's a quest location there. It's just a normal ass curio up next. Doesn't bother me all that much. Definitely take the satchel. Thank you. Okay, we only need one more, and we're good to go. That's this one up here. And then we can just leave. Right? That makes sense. This pack contains loot. Alright, anti-venom. That's a little late. Uh, Jade is good. Journal snippet. Trample journal. Sebastian's watch was his last! I had no idea! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Um, We do not need deeds as much as we need money. Like we want to work towards portraits and busts almost uniquely for the next little while. At least that's what I've understood. Okay, we can totally take this now with us. Uh, how about we just take it and then run? Do we get to keep the uh, Aegis scales with us? Is that a thing? And herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. All right. Well, long story short, that paid that mission paid for itself. We actually made progress. We collected a tiny amount of heirlooms, but we did get two extra portraits, which is helpful. And which we need for, you know, a bank. God damn it. Okay, so here's the good news. What we just did gave us an event in town. Where we have a bunch of doctors that come in. Of rare and exotic injuries. Where everything's going to be free this time. It's literally perfect. We just got a bunch of people who are diseased and need help. Specifically you. Can you stop being a klepto? And I'd like you to keep being... Ooh, some tough ones here. I'd rather make sure that you are tough. But the idea of you being a slugger makes me laugh. So let's absolutely do that for free. Um, and then we have some diseases we can get rid of now for free. Goodbye, vampiric spirits. Is there anyone else? Nope. Goodbye, creeping cough. That just saved us thousands upon thousands of dollars in treatment. That is huge. Um, 
On top of that, only Monfi K needed to go into some place to get themselves all sorted out. And honestly, yeah. I mean, I could do without if there's somebody else that pops up. Let's see, par, bloodthirsty, mercurial. Okay, you already got like level twos of everything, which is great. You already have an extra camping skill, which is also pretty sweet. Ooh, and snake size is really good. Yeah, I think I'll take you. Monfique, you've been hilarious to have around. But, like, uh, if you just give me all your trinkets and, um, go. Yeah, sorry. It is done. Yikes. Turn yourself now to the condition anyway, poor, come back in, please. Um, hello, poor, how are you doing? Hopefully you're not feeling too poorly. <laughs> Is there anything else that I wanted to do before all was said and done this time around? I think that it would be best for us if we literally just left it at that. Next episode, we are going to need to tackle something a little bigger. I get the feeling. Our wield is now level 5. We've got the hag. The hag's just sitting there waiting there with a book of sanity. It's not like the book of sanity is stupidly good, but it's alright. Hmm. It gives all the wrong rewards, though. What about you? Lots of busts. And a largely useless trinket. I mean, it's not useless, useless. But we already have another thing that's like... The, um... The ribbon is just like, yeah, you just don't have to worry about it. What, what do the two combine? What if he gets plus 22 resist? Let's see. Does he have anything else in here that's a problem? No. So what, his death blow resist is 73. Plus 12, 85, plus 10, 95 percent death blow resist. You know we gotta try it, right? That sounds baller as heck. <laughs> you know what? The fulminating prophet has absolutely made me wipe in the past. It is a scary boss. It does a ton of damage. I don't know how to deal with it. Um, I'm gonna do some research onto that one. Is there any other place that gives portraits? Yeah. Now we have to do explore 90% of rooms? You know what? That seems like our next mission. I think that's what we're going to do. For now, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more, you know, subscribe for some more videos. I'll see you next time. I'm going to finish my ice cream slash frozen yogurt while I wait though.